In January of 2015, the New York Times declared that New Brunswick has now become a destination for jazz. It's all due to a trio of friends who formed the New Brunswick Jazz Project. <laughs> New Brunswick has a pretty vibrant cultural scene. We've got theaters, we've got great restaurants, but there wasn't any jazz. And a city can't really be hip or cool if it doesn't have jazz. The key for it is, this is our town. We caught up with the New Brunswick Jazz Project at Hotel K, a contemporary Asian restaurant with an active bar scene. It's just one of the venues where jazz can now be found downtown. The jazz can be heard on a regular basis every Tuesday night at Tumulties. We call it our Emerging Artist Series. It's uh, mostly for the younger cats, college students. We do some Wednesdays at the Hyatt. We do every Thursday here at Hotoke and we do the first Friday of the month at Destination Dogs. All these venues are within two minutes walking distance of each other. Our love of the music is key. We could not do this if we didn't love the music. We couldn't do it if we didn't love each other. And we couldn't do it if we didn't love our town. And also there's always that special night when jazz works particularly well. And when you're there and you feel that and you see that and you see the audience react to it and you see the musicians themselves play from each other, you know, we've said to each other, this is why we do this. You know, if you follow a lot of these musicians, one night they're in Tokyo, you know, one night they're in New York, and the very next night they're here in New Brunswick. And so that just makes it cool to be able to get that caliber of um, live performing artists here in New Brunswick. One of the great secrets is that most of the big name New York jazz musicians don't really live in New York. They live in New Jersey. <laughs> composer Virginia Mayhew plays a Mark VI tenor saxophone from the mid-1950s. Growing up, saxophone was the first instrument she ever wanted to play. I started in the public elementary school. They asked us, you know, I still remember, that we filled out these little cards, what did we want to play? And I put saxophone first and they passed out the instruments and they said, girls don't play saxophone, you're gonna play clarinet. So that, that makes a great story. And uh, they worked out okay because I, clarinet is a very good basis for the saxophone. But by the time she finished high school, Virginia was playing the sax and had discovered jazz. I fell in love with it. As soon as I heard it, I didn't understand it per se. I just, I felt it, the rhythm, rhythm and the emotion. She's been part of New York's jazz scene since 1987, with appearances at Carnegie Hall, The Blue Note, and NPR. And she has six CDs as a leader. All this for a white woman playing a horn. It's not like it used to be when every gig, several people come up to me and say, I've never seen a female saxophone player. It still happens, but not as often. And it's much better than it was 25 years ago. Virginia Mayhew is part of why it's better. In 2012, she released Mary Lou Williams, The Next 100 Years. This critically acclaimed album is Virginia's tribute to the great piano player and composer. I had no idea the giant that she was. She mentored Monk and Bud Powell and Dizzy, and people should know about her. Thank you. 
and motion are what first drew Virginia to jazz, and both are strong forces in her original compositions, sometimes dedicated to a person, like this one for her mom, sometimes dedicated to one of her beloved cats. This is Lola on the left, and this is Sparky, Sparky H. Mayhew. A Hundred Kisses for Herschel. Herschel was one of my cats that just died recently and he was a rescue cat. He was one of those kind of rescue cats that definitely had been abused. Um, the first few weeks I had him, he just hid under the bed and he wouldn't even come out. And eventually, you know, you could, you could grab him and hold him a little bit. But then when he was about to die, he just let me hold him and kiss him and kiss him and kiss him. It was so sweet. Hard losing pets, I had no idea. to grow so I'm hard to pin down exactly but just do my thing and uh, feel happy that I get to do what I am doing. Mm -hmm. 